Hey everyone, Robin from Backscatter here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Sony A9. The A9 is built for speed, so we figured why not throw it in the Nauticam NA-A9 housing and jump in the cage with some great white sharks to put it to the test. Great white sharks were a perfect test subject for the A9 because of their speed, their relative unpredictability, and the fact that they blend in so well to their background, making it very difficult for a camera to acquire autofocus. For this, we needed a camera with fast and accurate autofocus and a deep enough image buffer so that we could increase our chances of nailing the shot. Fortunately for us, this is what the A9 was made for. It's a direct competitor to Nikon's D5 and the Canon 1DX Mark II, both of which are their respective flagships when it comes to high-speed shooting. For this expedition, we exclusively shot with the Sony 16-35 f4 lens, and we let the camera pick up its own autofocus points from the 693 autofocus points it has when in wide mode. This means that 93% of the sensor is covered, and these autofocus points refresh at 60 times per second, making this a true apex predator of autofocus. The A9 had no problems focus tracking even during intense high-speed action moments when letting the camera determine its own autofocus point. It would also maintain that focus tracking well up until the shark was swimming out of the range of visibility, then usually would pick up autofocus on the light shining through the surface of the water. But as soon as that shark would swim back into visible range, the A9's focus tracking would pick it right back up. The really cool thing here is that the autofocus system on the A9 tracks focus while rapid fire shooting without any screen or viewfinder blackout. This allows for continuous shooting, autofocus, and even zooming seamlessly at the same time, which is essential for capturing these fast moving and rapidly changing subjects. Basically all you need to do is mash that autofocus on button and shoot away. It might not be the most glorious style of shooting, but it is effective. The A9 is the fastest shooting full frame camera ever, SLR or mirrorless. It'll do 20 frames a second with the electronic shutter and has a 241 raw image buffer. It also has a mechanical shutter that'll shoot five frames per second. The electronic shutter on the A9 will not synchronize with underwater strobes, even if they could keep up with that 20 frames per second frame rate. So if you want to use strobes, use the mechanical shutter and shoot at 5 frames per second. Fortunately for us, the custom function 3 button is pre-programmed right out of the box to toggle between the electronic and mechanical shutter. So if you want to switch your shooting preference between speed or shooting with strobes, you can do so with just one push. You can also keep your strobes dialed down to a low power output to ensure their fastest recycle time, enabling them to keep up with the 5 frames per second mechanical shutter. In conditions such as these, it's really tough to shoot in full manual mode, but because we're using underwater wide-angle dome optics, we have to run a high aperture to maintain sharp corners, and we needed to run a high shutter speed in order to capture these fast-moving subjects, so we set the A9 to Auto ISO. Between the ISO performance and the ability to set limits within the Auto ISO range, it nailed the shot every time. The still image quality coming out of Sony mirrorless cameras the last few years has put them clearly at the front of the pack, even when compared to SLRs. The higher resolution Sony A7R2 and Nikon D810 will edge out the A9 in terms of ultimate image quality, but neither of those cameras come anywhere close to the shooting speed of the A9. That being said, there's really not a whole lot else in the camera world that's supported underwater right now that will. So, who is this camera for? Well, the A9 doesn't come with an inexpensive price tag. At $4,500, it's the most expensive full-frame mirrorless on the market. It is designed to run head-to-head -head with the Nikon D5 and the Canon 1DX2, which are $6,500 and $6,000 respectively, so Sony definitely shakes up the competition by beating these cameras in terms of speed and image quality. There are features on these other cameras that the A9 does not have, such as 4K 60p video and the best ambient light white balance performance, but the A9 comes in at a lower price point, especially for the excellent still image quality and shooting performance that you get. So if you like to shoot fast moving pelagic life like sharks, dolphins, whales, mantas, and sailfish, this is the camera for you. The speed of focus, the focus tracking, and speed of shooting plus 241 shot raw buffer is second to none. You'll be able to get the shot with your focus nailed better than with any other camera out there today. 
If you need more resolution than 24 megapixels and you've got to have 4K video with accurate custom white balance and depth, those are about the only areas where the A9 is going to fall short. So I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of the Sony A9 and you can see more content by checking out the article link in the video description. Please support this type of content by purchasing your cameras and underwater imaging equipment from us here at Backscatter. We have a world-class service center here to support you after your purchase, and we offer free lifetime tech support, and there's never any stupid questions with us. We dive, shoot, and service everything we sell. I'm Robin from Backscatter signing off, and happy shooting!